right, folks, it is Just Plain Living, and I'm John Gray. Good day to you. Good morning. Didn't you love it coming out in the beautiful trees? I'm Peggy Burton. And I'm Jim Fuller. But I did love it. Did you come out of the trees this morning? I came out morning? of the I live in the trees. I mean, I, I'm surrounded with trees. It's you so know, beautiful out. It's hard to come in. I always uh, refer back to, and I... Uh, Anybody out there who likes radio and who likes uh, music needs to buy Jerry House's book, Country Music Broke My Brain, because <laughs> it's just delightful. But he talks about the difference between the woods and the sticks. The woods and the sticks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, wo the woods is where people walk in, uh, in, uh, in nice uh, shirts and chinos, and there's squirrels jumping on the limbs and rabbits hopping along and, and there's tweetering. And birds tweetering and, and music butterflies, butterflies yeah. and music's playing and the sticks is where you get when you get to the end of the paved road and you get on the gravel road and you get to the end of the gravel road and you get on the dirt road and it turns into a path yeah then That's you're in the, the sticks, sticks. Yeah, right. and there's nothing there but chiggers and stick tights and you're and in your overalls and ticks behind a plow and, yeah. And, yeah, and the only music you hear is the banjo music from deliverance yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's That's good. Good between one. the woods and the sticks and the further you walk back there if you get walk back until you think you're, you're gone you're nowhere never to be found again you go around the corner and there's a there's a stove and some old tires and a half a bag of drywall. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's in the sticks. <laughs> and you go a little, it's funny. Go a little further and you'll find a stick. The steel. way he, descri he describes I, that. I think I lived like that when I was a kid. Oh, actually. we all did. Yeah. I yeah. did. I Country did. Music I Broke My Brain. Is yeah. that the name Country of Country Music Broke My Brain. It's it a delightful broke my book. brain, too, one time. <laughs> <laughs> More than once. Thank God I got over that. It's a, deli it's a delightful yeah. book. If you ever listen to Jerry House on the radio, Reading that book is just like listening to him on the radio. The way it's written, the way he wrote it, you can almost hear his voice. Uh, it's just a phenomenal book, and it's funny. There's funny stuff in there like you wouldn't believe. Bring him on the show. It's hilarious. I, I doubt I can get Jerry House here. <laughs> I've, I, I've tried to meet him throughout the years, and it's it's not an easy thing he's, to do. He's a little bit bigger than we are. <laughs> nah. A little bit busier, I'm sure. You know, my friend Teddy Bart, he and... He and uh, he and Jerry are big buddies. Yeah. And uh, I told him one time, I said, you know, because House was asking on his show, he said, if you could spend an afternoon with somebody, who would it be? Who would it be? Who would you Me? say? Me? Yeah. I would like to spend an afternoon with Jerry House. I mean, and he was talking about his heroes and different people yeah. because he's so brilliant and quick, witted. I mean, just very, very bright. And I said something to Teddy about I'd like to meet him, spend some time with him, and he said, oh, you wouldn't enjoy it. Oh, really? Really? He said when he's off the radio, he's a completely different person. And he just turns on when he gets he, on the radio. And most, yeah. of those, most of those people are like that. I They're think very that's true of a lot quiet of people. and very mm -hmm. uh, to themselves. It's, it's because they become someone else. Right, right. Like and, being in the theater. You know, he had probably four or five characters that he, <laughs> that he transformed into, you know, and did voices. And he, he wrote. <clears throat> he wrote, he wrote, has written numerous uh, uh, CMA award shows and, uh, and, the, and Oscar shows. He's written jokes for huge comedians. Great. So he, you know, he writes a lot as well. Speaking so he's of just a bright person. comedians, there is a tribute out now on Robin Williams and Joan Rivers. Oh, and Lord. I, I went on YouTube and saw the guy doing Robin Williams and... It was amazing. He looked exactly yeah. like him, talked like him. I, li I watched it for about five minutes, and it was fascinating. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. try to get him down here. Yeah, that'd be It'll great. It'll probably be $50,000, <laughs> but I'll yeah. try. If it's $50,000, <laughs> don't even make it. Yeah, it, yeah, for you for, But you know, uh, if it's just one person, sometimes that we can uh, pull well, it Well, and you catch, them, you catch them traveling through. I didn't watch Joan Rivers, but the, it, uh, the agent said that she looked just like her and talked just like her, too. Of course, you may have to clean Joan up a little more than Robin. I don't know. Robin could get out there <laughs> yeah. pretty much. But he would. He you know, I need to. I need to see if we can get uh, uh, April Kelly on. We hadn't had her on since Robin died, and 
you know, she lives over in uh, Lynchburg. She's the one that wrote Mork and Mindy. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've had her on the show yeah. before. Yeah. We and, should have her and, on. You know, she, would be she, appropriate. She, yeah. she, she would probably have all kinds of Robin Williams stories to tell. We need to make a list at some point. Uh, he was a uh, fascinating man. Yeah. We need to make a list at some point of all the all the important people that we've had on our shows over the years, John, before we get too old to remember. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, well, but, uh, that, that's possible, you know, I guarantee Teddy you. Teddy Bart would have to rank up there with my. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 But, Teddy's, uh, Teddy's uh, a phenomenal person. And, and uh, Johnny Majors. Johnny Majors. Was we've great had, guest, oh, my goodness, yes. Yeah. We've, yeah. Had some, we've had some folks come through here. Johnny Majors, we'll, we'll always remember Johnny because I remember. Uh, John somehow scored this interview and, yeah. and brought him down here and asked me to help with it. But, but uh, you know, it, it was like uh, I was a little concerned, will we know enough inside information about the University of Tennessee to, to be able to carry this? Keep was, him going. Yeah, yeah for, for an hour. Listen. I, I think I asked him one question, and, and, asked him right. and John asked him one, and, that, and, and we did a 90 minutes That's with him. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. It, was, I mean, it was unbelievable. I told him, I said, he said, what are we going to do? And I said, well, if we can get 10 minutes out of you, Coach, that'd be great. And he said, well, that's about all I'm worth. And then he 90 went on minutes and later. 90 we minutes finished. later, and, I, and he could have gone another hour, I'm sure, Probably, easily. Yeah. easily. But, uh, you know, we felt like, well, we've imposed on him enough now, you know, I mean, but goodness. Yeah, and uh, and if you haven't seen that, you can still go on our Facebook page. Oh, you still have and it pull, And pull that up, the, the Johnny Majors interview. It's probably one of the most insightful and delightful things that I've ever done sitting here. Yeah. He was absolutely incredible telling about his family and his father and how they came up and, and how he accomplished what he accomplished. and. Uh, it was just it was just it was wonderful right and a lot really of that was. a lot of that I've been a UT fan for years and a lot of that I didn't know I mean I never heard those right. stories right. You know, so it, it, and the thing that's cool about it is 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 he talked about when he went up there General Nalen had had quit coaching but he was still in the stands mm -hmm. watching right and uh, now that Butch Jones is up in Tennessee uh, and there have been some changes made in the way things are done up there Johnny's Johnny spends time up there in the stands and on the field and mm -hmm. you know they're they're bringing Butch is, is bringing some of these old line superstars hall of famers to back back to talk to these kids and I think that's uh, great. And, yeah. oh it's wonderful it's, 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 yeah. it's delightful to have those people who have been very successful from the university the to be back there and talking to these young people and uh, it's just a wonderful thing Oh, yes. You know, a couple of years ago, I interviewed uh, John Snyder with the Dukes of Hazard, mm -hmm. or not with the Dukes of ha ha Hazard, but you know, he was another one that we were trying to get. We were hoping to get about eight minutes out of out of mm -hmm. it to use on the show, and and uh, turns out, I think we ran three or four segments because he went on and you on. And it. say, it's yeah. the strangest thing, or it's not strange, but it's sort of funny how you fall into this stuff. I, of course, remember John Snyder from. Uh, from his Dukes of Hazard yeah. series, but as we were driving down there, and uh, Pam, who is our other person, mm -hmm. our partner, who helps us a lot, and uh, we had been on another interview and, and were li was going from there down to the Civic Center to, yeah. to interview John, and as we're driving down there, she's got her iPad or whatever you call that thing, and she's looking up and giving me some information as I'm so driving about some... John, yeah. just in case he doesn't want to talk about Dukes of Hazzard. Yeah. <laughs> and fortunately, you know, one of the first questions I asked had to do with the Dukes of Hazzard, he said, oh, no, surely we're not going to rehash yeah. that. <laughs> but, uh, but but through that, through that uh Five minutes with this research we did on the way down there, uh, you know, I knew what he was doing now That's and great. some other things, and he was tickled. Uh, and he's a with, genuinely with, nice oh, he's young a really, man. Yeah. Really nice guy, you know. And, uh, well, that's, that, I'm going back to house, so that's one of the things he says is interviewing and talking about interviewing. Teddy Bart's another one who's interviewed oh, yeah. presidents oh, and absolutely. everybody. But House said there's nothing worse than interviewing Charlie Pride. Yeah. And he said, I love Charlie Pride, but Charlie Pride much. don't say anything. 
<laughs> he said, I, trying to do 30 minutes with Charlie Pride is, yeah, I was like fighting World War III. You just cannot do a you know, yes or no question. You ask him a question, question and yeah. he says, well, that's on my resume. Yeah. <laughs> he, he said it, he's, he's answered the same question so many well, times, he's not going to answer it. Yeah, he's not going to do it. Exactly. Not exactly. going to do it. So uh, there's sometimes and, uh, it's as hard. we all know in this business, that's the, that can be terrifying if you've got 30 minutes and, and nobody, <laughs> and they, you, know, they, you know, they're giving you yes and no answers yeah. and that sort of thing. And so you're trying 30 to come. seconds when you have nothing yeah. to say is an eternity. It, right. Yeah. I noticed you looking back here at this pumpkin. Yeah, I was thinking about Halloween and, you know, and how that we right all had there, on our masks. Folks, if you look closely <laughs> at that, you'll see there's slits on the side of it. And... And this a is a candy. costume oh, okay. but how does that this Candy see? used, Sister Candy used to wear back in the day. See, there's your head comes through yeah. there, and you got a little skirt at the bottom. And uh, that was back in the day when we were all a little bit slimmer than we are right now. You can, I, I, you could, can get I used in to there. Could get in that. <laughs> if I got in there now, I'd really, we it'd should really have shown look up like a pumpkin. Today, should yeah. we? Uh, we should have shown up in masks today. They thought we did. They're, they're yeah, laughing oh, in the back. They thought we did. Yeah, yeah that's thanks, right. guys. That's, yeah, that's <laughs> right. This uh, Friday, of course, is Halloween. Chief Blackwell is in the audience today. I would not want to be the chief of police on Halloween, on Halloween. night. It was bad enough w w when I was in the bar business because I hated Halloween. I mean, that Did was, you that hate was Halloween? I, it was everybody, rough. Everybody it was just rough. got wild. It was rough, especially <laughs> with my friend John Gray. Uh, my friend John Gray, and uh, well, he at the time uh, ran Daddy Billy's, and uh, I ran the Legion, and. Uh, John closed at midnight, and I closed at one o'clock. <laughs> so and my it. friend John Gray <laughs> was trying. You know, both places were absolutely packed. And we and we had we started the costume party. Yeah. And then Hello, you moved and, over and, his and place. We started it. We had a costume contest at Daddy Billy's. Yeah. And I got them all good and drunk by midnight, and I closed down, and I was trying to figure out how to get rid of them. Y'all been thinking and about And I told him, I said, my friend Jim Fuller out at the Legion has invited all y'all out there for your last drinks of the night. He's going to be waiting for you. Y'all go out and have a good time. You are lucky we didn't have the big I'm telling you we what, have right now. He's going to lock you up. <laughs> and at, mid, at about 12, 15, I, and I'm, I'm looking out the front door. And Thinking there's you like, got it made. And there's like a parade <laughs> coming down Washington Street out there. And these people are totally incoherent. Oh and here God. they are, about a hundred of them. They dumped them in there on me, you know. <laughs> Thank you, John. Happy I always Halloween. remember that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, what are friends for? Yeah. That's right. <laughs> you guys. Oh, man, i tell you what, though, folks. We have uh, some friends here today on this show, and uh, Chief Blackwell's going to be up in just a minute, uh, and I'm sure he's going to talk about a little bit of Halloween safety for us and all kinds of other great stuff, so don't you go away. We'll be right back after these commercial messages. The Kia Cadenza sale continues at Russell Barnett Kia of Tullahoma. We still have a great selection to choose from. Purchase one of these Kia Cadenzas out of dealer inventory and receive dealer invoice pricing starting as low as $32,545. No games, no gimmicks, no hassles. With America's best warranty, the 10-year 100,000 mile powertrain warranty, Kia is the power to surprise. Invoice pricing for a limited time only. Russell Barnett Kia of Tullahoma. Why buy anywhere else? It's your trademark. That's something special everyone knows and remembers. It's your thing. It's made holidays special for decades. And summer's unforgettable for the entire neighborhood. It's made everyone laugh every single time. Don't let illness or injury keep you from doing your thing. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live well. Get your news first, fast, and free with your news leader on 6 every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. Local weather, sports, community calendar events, and a comprehensive look at the latest news stories and news makers as only a video news broadcast can do. Get it first, fast, and free with news leader on Channel 6, your local information network.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is our segment called Police Pointers, and we're happy to have with us this morning Mr. Chief Paul Blackwell of the Tullahoma Police Department, who uh, we were just talking about a moment ago because I bet Halloween's your favorite time of the year to be police chief. Well, it, it does uh, bring a little bit of excitement and uh, anxiety. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, not, not necessarily because of trouble we have, but, you know, you've got so many people at so many different parts of town and... Uh, you know, one, you want to balance having a good time with, of course, safety. Mm -hmm. And sometimes those two kind of con conflict. And, you know, to complicate matters even more this year, not only do we have Halloween, but we have a football game. We have a football game Friday night, the coffee pot. Right. Not only is it a football game, it's the annual <laughs> coffee pot The game. coffee pot. Right. So they'll, they'll be, and it's a home game. Mm -hmm. So they'll be, uh, um, you know, our neighbors from Coffee County High School coming down for the game. And uh, that's always a big rivalry. Mm -hmm. And whenever you have rivalries, you always have that potential for a little bit of uh, good humor, vandalism. I like or the way you put that. Militia. You know, it's, it's yeah. not intended to be anything, uh, you know, really bad. Right. It, it's all in good fun and what people would say is it's tradition and all. But when you're dealing with someone's property, then it becomes obviously an issue. Sure. So, so we know we're going to deal with that. Uh, that large influx of people, and it is Halloween, mm -hmm. and the, what, the way the weather's looking, it's going to be a pretty nice evening, so chances are there's going to be a lot of people out. We always get a lot of people from other communities that come to Tullahoma mm -hmm. to trick-or-treat, and, uh, you know, so that that's probably the biggest thing that we have to deal with is all the people, and now we've got two different, at least two venues that we know of, the football game and the trick-or-treaters. Right, exactly. Um, so what we kind of like to do at this time of year is just remind people about Halloween. You know, we, we, we talk about it every year. Parents are, are pretty well aware of safety issues on Halloween, but it's, it's always something that, you know, we feel we've got, to, we've got to do it. We've got to tell people about some safety precautions. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. And, and, and uh, of course, you've got, uh, it probably if you're my age, you probably know a lot of that. <laughs> but, if, but if you're a new parent or... Uh, relatively new parents, you might not think about those kinds of things. The excitement of that day might uh, overwhelm you and you forget to take some of the basic precautions that, right. that you might need to do to make sure your child is safe. And, and sometimes the anxiety level gets kind of high too with parents because yeah. the, the children want to do everything and mm -hmm. uh, you know sometimes it's easier to say just go. Right, <laughs> you know, exactly. Uh, uh, go. But, but there's some, some things that we do want to remind and the first being that with young children they don't need to be alone. Mm -hmm. They need to be with a parent, not necessarily an older sibling, but they need to be with an adult. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, everybody's got to gauge what is young. You know, what, at what age, you know, do, do you really have to keep an eye on them? Um, you know, we tell kids, walk, don't run. But they're not going to walk from house to house. They're right. running. I mean, you go, yeah. you go through these neighborhoods and the kids are running. But, right. but we'd rather see them walk so they don't trip over something. Uh, or run into something. Uh, uh, of course, we talk about costumes. Everybody wants to dress up, uh, but when you create a costume, think about visibility. Can someone see me? Uh, you know, put some reflective tape on it, get the little glow sticks and wrap it around their ankles or their wrists or something they can wear like a necklace uh, so you can be seen. Uh, there's a lot of cars on the road. And one of the things we do not want is a, is a child running across the street and someone not being able to see them. Mm -hmm. So, of course, we warn, don't, don't just run across the street. The same applies, look before you cross the street. Don't run out between any vehicles. Um, you know, and that, that's probably very easy to do because everybody's excited about excited. getting to that new place, mm -hmm. new house, uh, perhaps. And, and before you know it, they've darted out between a car and... And, uh, and again, the traffic is going to be so much more increased in our in our subdivisions in our neighborhoods mm -hmm. that you know that that likelihood increases. Fortunately, over the years we have not had that uh, any incidents of, of children getting hit. So we want to continue to make sure that uh, people are aware of that. Um, and, and I think for the most part, people in the cars know that. We have officers that go out through the subdivisions and. And they will remind people about violations. Mm -hmm. You know, turn your headlights on. Because some want to drive with their headlights out because they don't want to blind everybody. Mm -hmm. But, 
you know, turn your lights on. You got to be able to see, sure. um, you know, or parking on the wrong side of the road, or just parking in the middle of the road to right. let your kids out. You yeah, know, I bet we, people do that. Don't they? Tell you, we see it all. Uh, yeah. uh, I mean, you do see it all, and uh, uh, so the officers have to be diplomatic enough to understand people are having a good time, but there's good, there's safety involved. So sure. move along. Uh, we encourage the. If you let your child go out with a group of kids, have a plan. What time should they be home? Where do you pick them up at? What time should they be at the pickup point? Do they have cell phones? Nowadays, almost all kids have a cell phone. Right. Make sure they have it. Carry a flashlight, something so that you can be seen or you can see where you're going. Uh, a lot of kids like to wear masks. Uh, we encourage you not to wear the mask when you go from house to house. Take it off so you can see where you're going. Then when you're getting ready to go up to a house, put your mask on. Right. Of course, the alternative to a mask is just face paint. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, a lot of the kids like to put masks on and sure. uh, just just be aware of it. And, uh, you know, we check your candy. The big thing is parents look at your candy before you let the kids divulge, you know, start uh -huh. tearing that candy up. Right. Look at it. Is it wrapped? Does it look like it's been tampered with? things of that nature. And again, we have not had those experiences in Tullahoma, but again, it's something that we feel we've got to tell people. It would probably be helpful if you went to houses and you knew who lived there. Right yeah, yeah, you know, go to places that you know where you you feel, can feel comfortable that, right. you know, these are people we live with, we see daily, and, you know, the, the problem becomes when you go, you get in the car and you take them to another part of town mm -hmm. or to another community that you're not familiar with. Um, so you got to be vigilant about the candy. Um, yeah, and then we kind of talk to the parents that are driving the cars. And a couple safety tips. If you're letting your children out, let them out on the curb side. Don't let them. Some of these vans now have the doors on both sides. Mm -hmm. Don't let them jump out of the van into the street. Get them to jump out of the, car, the van onto the grass, onto the, the curb. Um, a lot of parents will drop them off and just sit and wait on them. And we want to remind parents, you can't stop, can't park your car within 25 feet of a fire hydrant. Right. That'll get you some attention. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't stop within 30 feet of a stop sign. Can't park in an intersection. And one of the big things is golf carts are not allowed on the road. Okay. There's some subdivisions where people will get their golf carts out, uh -huh. load it up with kids, or even let the kids take the golf cart. Right. And go around, and you know, golf carts are not supposed to be on the road. Right. So if an officer were to stop you and, and tell you, understand, you know, they're not supposed to be on the road. Right. And yeah, you know, that's something you might not just might not necessarily think. A of, lot so. of people don't because they yeah. think it's an easy way to get around and yeah. maneuver. Right. But there are some subdivisions that people will park on both sides of the road, and it would be virtually impossible for a fire truck or an ambulance to go down that road. Mm -hmm because of that parking. So that's why we have officers out there making sure we can keep the traffic moving for that there's enough clearance to where if we had to get a, a fire truck down it, sure. you can get there. Are, are you gonna have enough officers to cover all this deal? I mean, uh, the football you know, games are you Do you ever gonna ha do you ever have enough officers? I, <laughs> I guess, guess I'm gonna turn that around. Don. I guess not. Uh, guess not. You know, we'll have quite a few officers out uh, understanding that officers are family people too. And yes. if it's their night off, they're going to want to take their kids out trick or treating, Absolutely. and uh, you know, we'll we'll have enough. There'll be enough officers out, uh, and the good thing is we can always get on the radio and call for help yeah. if we need help from the sheriff's department or or some of our other right. local police. Yeah. Okay. Well, all I can say, Chief, is uh, <laughs> thanks for coming today and have fun. <laughs> have fun on have Halloween fun. night. You know, uh, I don't remember. It's been a few years since uh, we had the coffee pot game and Halloween on the it, same it's, day. It's probably not going to occur for a long time like that again. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Folks, be safe out there on Halloween. Have fun, but be safe and make it easy on the uh, Tullahoma Police Department if you can. <laughs> or Thank whatever you. police department, mm -hmm. whatever community you may be in watching this. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen, with more living right after this. Let the smokehouse be your mountain getaway destination in beautiful Monteagle, Tennessee. Enjoy our cabins, restaurant, and old general store. 
Shop the Smokehouse.com featuring homemade barbecue sauces, jellies, and many other fine Tennessee products. Our live Music on the Mountain series features some of the best local and Nashville talent every Friday and Saturday night, 6.30 p.m. No cover. Kids welcome. This is a tree that was never chopped down. To make a crutch that was never needed. By a child who never got polio. Because vaccine was never in short supply. Thanks to people whose compassion wasn't either. Over the years, Rotary Club members have helped immunize over two billion children against polio. Soon, the world will be polio free. Rotary, humanity in motion. How long has it been since you raced a cheetah? Are your tornado creating skills getting rusty? Tired of being the only one in your neighborhood who hasn't built a dinosaur? Sounds like it's time to visit the Hands-On Science Center. The Hands-On Science Center is an indoor science playground. In this museum, please touch is the rule. Join us for weekly science demonstrations on space, lasers, lizards, rocks, and a whole lot more. No two visits are ever the same, so visit often to see our ever-changing exhibits and demonstrations. The Hands-On Science Center, 101 Mitchell Boulevard in Tullahoma. I'm glad you hung around for this segment. I have on the set with me Katie Ishii, and I love that last name. We'll go into that later, but there's it's time for a toy convoy. It is. Halloween will be over, and we'll wake up to the convoy. Exactly. Tell me, tell me where it starts, where it ends. It starts, uh, we line up in Manchester. This is our 19th year. Every vehicle that rolls 50 miles an hour safely is welcome. Good. We have new cars, old cars, motorcycles, motorcycles, jeeps, trucks, vans, rat rods, limos. We don't care what it is. You don't care what it is, as long as it's, it's moving. As right? long as it's moving, and you uh, fly the American flag to salute our military. Yeah, I love that. I love that you were having everybody fly the American flag. Oh, Peggy, when that you means get a lot going down the road. And all you can see is the American flag as far as you can see yeah. in front of you and as far as you can see behind you. And there are some good hills between here and right. Manchester. There is, it, it just makes you proud to be in okay, Tennessee. Okay, you if you want to be a part of it, you've got to line up at coffee before, middle, uh, the old coffee middle school is now Raiders Academy oh. it's on highway 55 oh, at the interstate it's still yeah. the same place still the same place they just changed the name of the school because it's the ninth grade now they built a new middle school out and it's on Woodbury ten, ten dollars to enter your ten dollars to enter per vehicle not a person okay per, so if you have ten people in your car, car it's okay. is still ten dollars it's safe right and um if and you something have a about, school bus and it's Full, it's still ten dollars. Yeah, and uh, it's twenty dollars to show, and everybody has to bring a new unwrapped toy. Now, when you say twenty dollars to show, what All does right, that we mean? We have a car, bike, jeep, or car, bike, truck, four by four show. Okay. Because at first it was just a truck show, and then I was informed by several of the entries that there was a difference between a truck and a four by four. Yeah. And so, because Jeeps are 4x4, four four, so we broke that down broke that to two. another category. And so when they show, are they going to be decorated? And No, so they'll, the enter, they'll ride in the front. It'll be like a car show, motorcycle okay. show, and we'll have judges uh, judging uh, the entries that come in. We have trophies for the winners. They're going to be really pretty this year. They're going to be uh, black laser Ooh. and with the high, Highway 41 logo yeah. on top. And um, we're going to be giving them a trophy for um, most patriotic. Okay. We're giving plaques for long distance participant. The ones that, that have come, come the, furthest. the furthest. And Young Heart Award. Oh, that's nice. And the oldest person that's ever been to the convoy that Word. we know of was a 94 year old lady. That's awesome. And I figure she can get out and do it. Sure. Y'all can get can. out and do that's it. Right. Anybody can do it, right? And you, then at 11 o'clock, 
you're all li lined up, ready to go, and you're. Oh, we don't leave till one. Oh, we start lining okay. up at eleven. All right. I and get I get to straight. school at ten. There's still people. It's like a cruise in down yeah. at the school before we leave. So they're all and they're all showing up, off their cars and everything. And so what route do they follow? We come down Highway 55 with the police escort and the fire trucks, and we come over the viaduct, hit Jackson Street and Tullahoma, come all the way up through town, past the mall. Then we'll cut over to Atlantic and we backtrack downtown to Daddy Billy's. Okay, and that's where you end up. Right, and they sh uh, the city closes down eight to nine blocks over there for me. Yeah. And that's so where we many, had the show and a band. Do you, you remember how many you had last year? We had a couple hundred vehicles last uh, year. Right, that's what I mean, vehicles. And uh, because there's, there's sometimes, um, like senior citizens, I don't charge them. Well, that's if, nice. If you got over four kids, I don't charge you. You've already okay. got your hands full. <laughs> <laughs> that way they come out yeah. and see Santa Claus anyway. But please bring a toy. Okay, you know? so this is all about, this. let's tell Raise, what it's all about besides raising having toys for fun. The kids. But it's raising toys for the kids in this region. Is right. that correct? Yes, ma'am. Several counties. Now, how do those toys get distributed? They're going out through uh, the sheriff's departments, the fire department, police departments, Manchester, Tullahoma. Okay. Shelbyville, Estelle. And, and so if there's somebody out there that's maybe not on anybody's I need a toy list, they what do can, they do? They can, uh, I would suggest they get hold of either, the, depending on where they live, uh, the county, uh, Coffee County Sheriff's Department okay. takes care of the county, that. Uh, Manchester City, Manchester Police Department takes care of that. Uh, fire department down here in Tullahoma takes care and of the, the Tullahoma kids. And then the toys all get distributed? Through them. Through them. Yes, we take them. Cars up in um, Manchester, which is one of the drop places, um, they're located on MacArthur, about a half a block from the red light on the right, going up there. You can drop off there, but they transport the toys in their trucks back up to the sheriff's back department the, after the convoy. And that's and, where it gets distributed. Right. From there. From there. Now, I notice a phone number here. Do you want to put it up? Yes. All right. If you want information on this event, 931-857-3643. If you're, you know, a little bit confused and don't know what to do. I know you have some sponsors. And it's always wonderful to have sponsors. Right. Do you want to yeah. rattle them off, or do you want to? It's Virgil Tree. I'm proud to say uh, we've yeah. been doing this for 19 years. Daddy Billy's Good. has been on board, um, and then our band. And of course, it's a friends of Highway 41. It's a the local businesses around yeah. here that give back to the people in the convoy that have come year after year and, and they have a chance it. to um, win a really nice door prize. We've got several so door how many prizes. Do you have Probably several? over 20, 25 door prizes we're going to be giving away. So this thing of getting tickets. You get 10 tickets and you, and towards your door prize your drawings. Door prize, you can buy more if you want to down uh, when we get there. And this year, Aaron's Rentals has jumped in on the convoy, and we don't know what they're going to do. But, but the only clue, <laughs> the only clue they would give us, uh, they wanted us to raffle or auction it, and so we're going to do a raffle because everybody has a better chance yeah. of getting in on it instead of a couple people doing an auction. Right. So we're doing five dollar raffle tickets after Good. we get down to Daddy Billy's. And um, they're, they, the only clue they gave me was we're still trying to figure out how to get it out of the truck. So it's going to be so big. It's yeah. going to be big. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to be just as surprised as everybody so else when I see it. that'll probably be announced at the event. Yes. And a place for people to buy the $5 tickets. Right. Well, it's a wonderful thing that you're doing, Katie. And the fact that you all have kept it going for 19 years it's obvious to me that it will continue. Well, the people, it's been the local people that supported it. Yeah. And that's, and but we've had people come from Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, Kentucky, that's to participate in our convoy. So it gets bigger every year. Yes, it, it just went out this morning, or did an interview this morning with uh, Tennessee Radio Network, Good. which Goes serves all over. over all over Tennessee. All right, remember, bring a new unwrapped toy. Right. And let's make sure it's a safe one. 
and you're brightening the children's Christmas. Katie, we could talk longer, but we got to go. Remember, it's That's this right. Saturday. Appreciate thanks it. For Thank y'all for helping thanks me. Thanks for the wonderful person that you are and for doing this. Appreciate we'll be it, back Peggy. with Thank more you. of Living. Looking for a unique gift for someone special, or perhaps something just for yourself? Then you need to check out Grady Mac Denim Company, right here in the heart of Tullahoma. Grady Mac features the full line of men's and women's Lucky brand apparel. Stop in and check out our denim production line. Grady Mac offers a full line of outdoor sporting apparel, and much more. And check out our custom fly fishing equipment, fine art, and fine sports memorabilia. There's something for everyone at Grady Mac Denim Company, the most unique store in Tullahoma. We get closer to a world with more birthdays when we take cancer patients by the hand. We help them find answers and guidance and hope and give them more candles to light. We're the American Cancer Society. Help create a world with more birthdays at morebirthdays.com. Hey, I'm Terry Stroop, Stroop's Accurate Refrigeration. Our goal is to provide you comfort in your home. Cool weather's on its way. Sign up for your fall maintenance now. Train is offering some special financing or rebates for your new systems you purchase this fall. Our goal is to provide you with the best possible service and installation job available. Our office staff is beat by none. Now that you've heard the Stroop effect, the picture is clear. Call Stroop's for all your service needs. When your family suffers the loss of a loved one, the caring and compassionate staff at Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel are standing by to assist you in every way possible. We are proud to support local industry and offer only Batesville caskets. Many funeral homes don't own or operate a crematory. We utilize the only crematory in Coffee County. Your loved one never leaves Coffee County. We can accommodate any need and any budget. Consider our complete pre-need service to remove this burden from your family during their time of grief. Lock in today's low costs and protect from inflation. Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel. Our family caring for your family. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's fall time. The leaves are changing. It makes you think about rabbit hunting and squirrel hunting and dove hunting and deer hunting and all kinds of hunting. And that brings you to sportsmen. And sportsmen sometimes ties with businessmen. And so we have the sportsmen and businessmen. A fundraiser coming up here, and we have Carla Bloom and Bill Nichols up here with us to talk about what's going on. How are you? I'm wonderful, and you? We're excited. It's this weekend, it's isn't this it? It's this Saturday. Festival, it all starts about 5 o'clock. We'll open the doors for our silent auction. Oh, we'll eat, what, 6.30 or 7? Mm -hmm. And then the live auction starts with the Seagroves Brothers. <laughs> That's, 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 all, always, that's fun. always fun, those guys. Yeah, Harold, he, Harold's this close to having a show either in Disneyland or um, <laughs> Vegas. I can't tell which, but somewhere in between there is Harold Bill, yeah. you know. He Harold's a great, great They're show. They're a lot of fun. Yes, yes they are, and, and this is how many years? 31. 31 years. Can you believe years. it's been 31 years? Raising money for children's dental and vision needs and helping seniors with heaters and air conditioners and cancer victims and burnout victims. It's just, the list is endless, really. Right, uh, right. The, the types of help that we give in the community. Yeah, it's and wonderful. It's a, it's People a ask, great. like, all the time, what do you do? And it's, al it's almost impossible to say, because you start thinking about all the things that it does. But, you know, it's kind of like what the United Way, well, I don't know if I can say that or not, but it's kind of like that without the limousines and the Learjets. You know, it's all right <laughs> here. Yeah, you can it's say right that. Here. You don't have to drive, you don't have to, I mean, there are no meetings and all that, maybe a couple of times a year. <clears throat> but it's like this morning, if you need something this afternoon, you're probably going to have a check. Right, right. And, you know, three board members will okay it. And so we don't want to say what it does. Just if you think you may have a need, call the number and we'll right, try. Right, right, right. Yeah, and, that's, and that's, that's really, really good because, you know, a lot of that stuff, a lot of that stuff's going away. I know uh, a, lot of your, a lot of your big clubs, you know, young people, just like the American Legion, at one point we had 3,000 members. Now 
we're lucky to have 300. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of a lot of young people aren't buying into the and the younger vets aren't buying into that type of right. stuff. Mm -hmm. They're not club joiners. Yeah. And you know, like our generation was. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of the good things that those clubs and those yep. places like that did have kind of fallen by the wayside because they're not out there generating the money that right. we used to do to buy that hospital bed or that air conditioner for a Gold Star mother or right. something for a vet or something for a kid. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so y'all have sort of fill that gap just a little bit and that's that's wonderful and the um we have people coming this year who've never been or have you know kind of dabbled a year here and the mm -hmm. year there but a lot of younger folks that are coming out to yeah. join us and that's great yeah that's what it's all that's about great. that's what we have to have to make something like this thrive and continue so well you know what what young people and uh, particularly young people with fa young families you know, and I, uh, you know, I think what they're looking for is a community that is community. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they've spent some time away in school. They've been lived in the city for a while, and now they want to raise their family, and they want to come home to where, you know, it's sort of Mayberry-esque, and everybody cares about each other right. mm -hmm. and looks after each other. And uh, this is just a great, another great way of making our communities feel that way and, and you know John we can because it's so local we vet the people that ask for the donation I mean you, somebody knows them or yeah. their family and these aren't deadbeat people these aren't people that are living off the dole these are like this week they need two hundred dollars to get to next week right or something right. like that right. and uh, you know it's a, it's a, and we generally we know I can't say it's a hundred percent but at a high percentage of the people we know and we know they need it, and well, that they'll give it back somewhere down the way. They'll pass it on. You yeah. know, and the generation, the generation before us, the greatest generation that you know, those people have a lot of pride, yeah. mm -hmm. and sometimes yes, people don't ask mm -hmm. because of mm -hmm. they're proud, right? And they think they shouldn't ask, and we need to seek those people out and, and make sure they're served. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we do, we, we do a pretty good job at that. I think um, so. Because if you've ever donated time or money or an item or anything to us, you're part of the, the group. Mm -hmm. And so there's no dues, there's no big long meetings, we just, you know, it, it, you're a member. Yeah. You help us here there every you year. There you go. <laughs> so, there you go. Um, the event's going to be great this year. We've got, you know, every year we have lots of fun jewelry and hunting trips. And this year we have an elliptical that somebody has donated. And um, the be community. A little music? Is there going to be a little oh, music? Oh, yeah, there'll be, a, there'll be a lot of music. There's a band that's been playing everywhere, I mean, all over the region lately. It's called the Stagger Moon Band. Mm -hmm. And it. Um, I don't know, locally, Ken Huddleston's in it, and I don't know the other members. I do, but I can't remember their names. And now. we have to take just a second to say, Ken is wonderful about helping us every year. Every year. Oh, yeah, Ken's, every year. Ken's That's right. right guy. Yeah, he's doing he, what sound, just whatever we ask yeah. every year, yeah. doesn't matter. He's he doing and Danny it. and that bunch that works for him. Are, and they're very, 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 very professional yeah. mm -hmm. and very good yep. at what they and do. And we have a new upcoming artist yep. with you us this year. You may know her better than we do is Laura McCormick. I think, is she not? Yeah, been on yeah I know Laura. Remember yeah. her? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From not since she was born, but almost. <laughs> yeah. She's performing for us this year. Good, be good. There. Yeah, I've she seen her video. Yeah, she, yeah. She's doing. She always been a great singer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm glad she can I'm bring it she now. Found she'll, her way. She'll, yeah, she can bring it, and it'll be a great show, I'm sure. Well, we're really excited to have her yeah. a part oh, yeah. this year. To um, there again, that's part of the younger generation. Right. And when we had our kickoff meeting, I know. Our kids are involved mm -hmm. now, so it's a lot of fun to see <laughs> all the young children sure. that are coming to the meetings and helping out, and we appreciate all the community help. The high school donut, um, they have groups that come out and help Skills us Skills USA cars. people, uh, um, and what's the business group? I can't think now. The FBLA, FBLA is there all the time. Um, Clay Busters. Um, the soccer team has mm -hmm. helped us. That Clay Busters bunch, they're a side, aren't That's they? That's they right. Are. Yeah, and we've had them on the show. They did. They got mm -hmm. national recognition this year. Well, we we appreciate. Yeah. You know, we like to to mention those groups. Yes. And and just all the people who who reach out to us and and give us something to to sell that night. Well, uh, you know, we we have a pretty generous community. Yes, around. we do. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot. 
there's a lot goes on around here from the art centers to all yeah, the things is. that you just don't find in small town mm -hmm. USA. And it's because of the generosity of the people who live here. That's yeah, right. It makes life and the great quality here for sure. of life here is yep. better because of that. Yeah. Sure. And this is a, a great community um, event because it's not Manchester, it's not Tullahoma, it's truly Coffee County right. that comes together. And you I, folks remember that that's out there. Right. It's, it's a, um, you can cross the Gulf of Manchester for this. <laughs> that's right. Hey, we give out scholarship uh, in uh, Manchester and Co I mean, Tullahoma and Coffee County High School, and I don't know how. What the dollar amounts are, but they're $500 scholarships, yeah. and they're several of them. I don't know how many, right. but I, I come over here every year to Tallahoma High School on that on that great day, that scholarship yeah, day, yeah. and the sportsman does that, and uh, you know it, and the people in Tallahoma contribute. It's just it's there's no. Carla lives no, in Tallahoma. I live no, in Manchester. No. Amy's business is in Tallahoma. There There's, shouldn't be that just anywhere, a, anytime, anyway. Right. It's all for one. Yeah, there you go. So again, this is this Saturday night. We have Starts tickets. About five. And we have tickets available for the $5,000 reverse raffle still, mm -hmm. and I have some dinner tickets left. So you can call me at 212-6045 uh, and we'll get you hooked up. When people ask you to buy those tickets, buy them. It's a big deal. That's right. Very good. Very good. Thank you so much have for being here, day. both of you. Y'all do as well. Thank you, John. As right. always, good to see thank you, you for your support. I want to see you in this pumpkin I'm outfit gonna, yeah, for you later. Yeah, that's what i <laughs> <laughs> We'll be right back after this, And folks. happy Halloween. Yes, happy holidays. Gillum's Tullahoma. Are you a shoeanista with no place local to find your style? Well, now you don't have to travel any further than Bren's Shoe Boutique. Located at the Village on Jackson, 1940 North Jackson Street, Suite 120 in Tullahoma. From funky to formal, you can find the fit and style that will make you smile at Bren's. A shoeanista herself, owner Brenda Kemp offers brands like Rocket Dog, Jessica Simpson, Mia, Nine West, Jay Renee, Bandolino, and more. Want that accessory splash that none of your friends have? Brins offers a selection of one-of-a-kind handbags and jewelry with just the right bling. So if your shoe selection doesn't stack up, find what you've been looking for at a price you can afford at Brins Shoe Boutique, now open in Telahoma. When you see the sign, The Main Event, take a close look inside at a hair studio that offers services by some of the best master stylists in Middle Tennessee. These stylists offer a list of services that compete with large city salons, from trendy cuts for men, women, and children, to the latest color techniques, including highlights and bold color accents. Other services offered include permanent hair weaving and relaxing to formal hairstyle for that special occasion. You can also give yourself a very special treat with a full makeover including full body waxing. For your convenience, we are open Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. until the last client leaves happy. Call and make your appointment at 931-571-8682 or stop by our Telehoma location at 207 North Jackson Street. Pay for yourself at the main event today. Welcome back. I'm so happy to be here with someone that does designer events. <laughs> Dawn Bellamy, it's nice to meet you. And uh, nice meet I you. know there's a big event coming up. November 9th, so let's just let you take it away and tell us what's happening. All right, we are, uh, this is our fourth year where you're hosting the Tullahoma Holiday Shopping Expo. Uh, generally, the past three years, we have been at the Tullahoma Event Center and we've kind of outgrown ourselves and then plus um, it the, closed down actually, yeah, didn't it? it? I it, think it's, it's for, for sale. sale. Yeah. yeah, which we love that venue, it's a great venue, but. Um, with its state kind of in flux and we not didn't know if it would be sold. Well, I think the place you've season. chosen is a great venue. Yes. We're going to be right here beside you guys right at the Legends building. Ballroom. We love it. Um, it's a great venue too. Liz Carson is um, great to work with. and She does a great job. I was reading at a, at a reception there and it was 
decorated beautifully. Yeah, so, so we're um, it'll be we're, fun. We're excited to work with her and get to use the venue. Um, the venue and, is kind of like made for what we're doing. Yeah. She pipes and what time does it start that it people is can come in? One o'clock. One o'clock. Shopping will start at one o'clock. From one until till six o'clock. Yes, ma'am. Yes, so ma'am. Bring some money. Bring your checkbook, and uh, you can do all your Christmas shopping because you Most if definitely. you have forty vendors and maybe more. Yes. So you mentioned some of the types of things that will be for sale. We try to make sure that we have something for everybody on your list. We have things, you can come shop for gentlemen here, you can shop for kids here, you can shop for ladies on your list. Um, you can, in essence, bring your Santa list and just kind of check everybody yeah. off. We have accessories. We have a gentleman who makes homemade salsa. Oh, um, how interesting. Yes. That he's, sounds good. He's a new vendor for us this yeah. year, so we're really excited. You know, we're excited to taste his stuff. And um, we have another gentleman who um, does gentlemen's pocket squares and bow ties. Um, we're trying to get a vendor. He's one of them that just contacted us. Could he that makes, possibly be Jacob Gray? It is. It <laughs> is. Him and, um, and, Cindy? and Cindy. Yeah, yes. We love good. their little pocket squares. They're so I, I trendy. I love that too. And we uh -huh. love it. Um, we have lots of accessories and jewelry and all the things that we ladies love. And then we have lots of kids' things, like we have kids' books, we have kids' clothes. Oh, that's clothes. nice, yeah. So we'll so have lots of So you can buy all stuff. kinds of gifts. Yes, ma'am. Yes, and ma Santa might even drop in and do some yes, shopping, I would say. We hope so, yeah. And this is all inside the Markham Building, which yes, is, lo what is this? What are we located on? 414 Wilson Avenue. 414 Wilson Avenue. You can't miss it because it's a big <laughs> building and it's a wonderful place to be. Yes, ma'am. And we'll have banners up. So you'll see um, red Santa banners up that will say Tullahoma Holiday Shopping Expo. Yeah. And uh, I think you said there'd be food vendors as well. Yes, yes. So if you need a drink of something, you can find it here <laughs> at uh, the Expo. Yes, ma'am. Do you have your own booth, or are you just mainly? Yes, we do. What do you have? We have um, a holiday store that coincides with designer events it's called So What. Lots of people have. Um, we were on Jackson Street for five years, so a lot of people are used to coming and shopping yeah. our Christmas trees. And uh, we don't have that storefront location now, so you'll catch us at a show. Catch, yeah. People love picking off our Christmas trees, so we'll have lots of custom Christmas trees that you can pick all kinds of stuff off of. Oh, okay. Yeah. So decorations yes, and uh, any kind of thing that you would put out for Christmas. Yeah. We also will have wreaths. It's um, all kinds of holiday decorations, yeah. basically. Do you have any idea how many people that came last year? Yeah, last year. I know year, it grows every year. It does. We have um, really grown every year. Last year, I know we had about an hour, maybe 30 minutes left in our show last year, and we had stopped when we got somewhere close to 500 people. So oh, wow. we really attract a big crowd. So, we love it. Um, and it is a testament to how great our vendors and art well, artists are. And I think the beauty of this is that you can get such a variety yes. of things without having to go a store here and then another right. store three blocks away and whatever. Right. And uh, since Tullahoma doesn't have a courthouse <laughs> down, yeah. we do have a downtown. And I know you enjoyed being down there. But, we did. But I think people are going to follow you out here. I, I hope I so. I wouldn't worry we about it so. one little bit. <laughs> and that's November 9th, which is really just... Yes, That's it's Sunday. not this Sunday, it's, it's next it's Sunday. It's Sunday, and yes, I don't know if we actually mentioned that it was Sunday. And that's probably a great time to shop. We do. We do it because a lot of our vendors work other jobs. And um, you, if you work all day and work five days a week, and then Saturday maybe your kids are in fall sports, exactly. then you can't really so do now, anything on now Saturday. Now you have a chance to do yeah. something on Sunday afternoon. And I think I mentioned this to you before we came on the air, that you probably will have some Thanksgiving things yes. to sell also. Yes, ma'am. We'll still have fall and Thanksgiving. Because, yeah. Yes. And I'll, I think you're going to have a beautiful day. I hear it's going to be 63 to 70 yes. degrees. We hope and, so. We hope so. And even there's plenty of parking here, yes. so that's a nice thing. Even if it's not and it's bad weather, you come inside and again, like you said, it's kind of like shopping an open air mall. Every vendor will be like its own little store. Do you have room for any more vendors? We do. We have um, a few a few spots, spots left, open. left. Yes. and how much do, does it cost to rent a spot? Um, booths are sixty dollars, and it's for a ten by ten space. Um, if we run out of the pipe and drape spaces inside, we can go out into the hallway. Now, are they supposed to bring their own table, or we have a lot of vendors here. that do? They like their own setup. They, just they do bring shows. everything of their setup. If they don't, so when do they set up? We'll set up from eight in the morning till noon. Okay. So it gives our vendors a chance to set their booths up. I'm assuming your vendors know that, but the new yes, people might not know that. <laughs> and if uh, someone decides they would like to do this, I guess they need a phone number. And I know I mentioned it, but I don't think anybody put it up. So let's give that phone number one more time. 931-409-2382. There we go. Yes. Maybe they did put it up. <laughs> How did they get it before I finished? Anyway. <laughs> 
Call that number. <laughs> and one of the good things, we do this every year. We support a local food bank here in Tullahoma. Um, we knew when we did the show and we would draw a lot of customers, we wanted to do something to also help our community. We, we do it on the guise of um, helping small business and having people shop small business, but we wanted to do something that really touched our community. So. Uh, the first 200 shoppers, we have reusable shopping totes that have oh, Santa on them. They're good. really cute. Yeah. If you will come in and bring a non-perishable food item, we'll give you a shopping tote that you can go to the show and fill with fill everything it up you buy. With everything. <laughs> um, even if you forget your non-perishable food item, you can make a monetary donation. We'll be glad to give you That's a tote. That's a wonderful thing to do. And uh, yeah. non-perishable is like what? You can do things in a items. can. Yeah, boxed and like pasta. crackers. Yeah. Is that okay? And yeah. as long as it's boxed and yes. sealed. Anything that will not um, that doesn't require any kind of refrigeration, yeah. we'll take it. The food banks um, don't turn away any kind of food, um, and they really support a lot of families throughout the year. And mm -hmm. I know that number goes up during the holidays. So we come in right at a perfect time when those shelves are getting bare, and we try to refill them for them. Now the Markham Building to me is a beautiful place just to walk oh, yes. through. So I think people. You encourage them to come in the front door. Most definitely. That's I know where that you'll we enter. come in the back door when <laughs> we do this show, but I think people need to know that they can park out front because there's lots Most of parking. Come in that front door and enjoy all the beautiful things that are in the hallways. Yes, ma'am. Coming on down to the Legends Ballroom, yes. which is like at the end of the yes, hallway, I believe. Yeah, yeah, definitely come in. I think a lot of people, if they've not been here for a yeah, session, they or would just enjoy coming. Yeah, yeah, they're curious about what's and inside. And you will not be able to go home without buying stuff because there's going <laughs> to yes. be a lot. Yes. There's going to be a lot. I, I know it'd be funny if we could mention everything that's going to be here, right. but that's probably impossible. But we're looking forward to November 9th, Sunday afternoon from 1 o'clock till 6. Be prepared to bring a non-perishable. Yes, ma'am. So you can get your free tote with a Santa Claus on it. Yes. Don, what a delightful person Thank you, you are. So Thank much. you for coming. Thanks for having me. Good luck on this. Thank you. Expose, eh? whatever it is, <laughs> it's going to be wonderful. I know it is, and I Thank hope that everybody in town will show up. We'll be back. The highest standard of trust offers a sense of safety and comfort. It's established over time. You know when you see it. You know when you feel it. There's a standard of trust in healthcare. It's the Joint Commission Gold Seal of Approval. In 2003, Life Care Center of Tullahoma voluntarily achieved this accreditation and maintains it still today. Life Care, meeting a higher standard because residents matter most. Have you heard that little voice that beckons you to come home to Tennessee? Well, here's your chance. Here's a property offered by its owner. It's 20 miles from the National Walking Horse Celebration Grounds in Shelbyville, Tennessee, and only 10 minutes away from the Jack Daniel Distillery in Lynchburg. It's located at 769 Shipman Creek Road. This property has over a 5,300 square foot home on 45 acres, and a sprawling 200 acres is also available. Let's take a look at the house. Bill Built in 1998, this home has four bedrooms and three and a half baths. This home offers wide open views, featuring the main floor with over 2,700 square feet of living room, an eat-in kitchen, a formal dining area, and a massive 20 by 19 master bedroom with a master bath and fireplace included. There is craftsmanship at every turn, solid cherry cabinets, built-in cherry shelves, and other solid cherry appointments. It's a two-story home with three nicely sized bedrooms upstairs. Down a spiral staircase, the basement hosts a 40 by 40 den with a handcrafted bar. We're leaving the jukebox here, folks. The basement is a recreation room on steroids. There are too many closets to count and more than you'll ever need. There are so many places in this home to find peace that you'll seldom want to leave it. But when you do, you'll discover up to 200 acres of paved roads with city water. The property is quilted with streams, woods, ponds, and open pasture. The view from the porch alone is enough to say your home. The property includes a three-bay heavy construction shop and plenty of room to build stables and graze livestock. If Tennessee's been calling you home, start your journey by calling this number. A property like this comes on the market but once in a lifetime. We think you'll love it. We think you'll stay. This is a very real estate. I'm meteorologist Leland Statham from the News Channel 5 Weather Center. Look to Jim Fuller and crew for local news night here on Channel 6.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and we're pleased to have joining us now the president of the Tullahoma Chamber of Commerce, Tullahoma Area Wide Chamber of Commerce. That's the correct title, yes. is it not, Jamie? Yes, it is. And uh, we're glad to have Jamie McNabb with us today to tell us about some of the things that's going on at the Chamber of Commerce. And she was giving me kind of a preview before we came on here. That's it's right. We have a lot of exciting things going on. We sure do. And the one right now that we're really wanting to talk about is a couples bowling tournament mm -hmm. that we're going to have on November the 6th. And it will. We will have 60 teams, and uh, we're looking so forward to it. Yeah, th and and you guys did this with just the ladies, I believe. We did this the with year. the women in the spring, and had filled the bowling alley up. And everyone said, "Oh, this is so much fun." The thing about bowling is you do not have to worry about the weather. Mm -hmm. You don't have to own any equipment. All you have to do is be able to throw a ball. Mm -hmm. down the alley and you're in you're in business they provide the ball the shoes and we will also provide food for everyone a meal beforehand so and th th this is a one day tournament I assume. oh it's only set on Thursday evening at 530 mm -hmm. and there we will have three games that you mm -hmm. will bowl and then we'll award prizes to three different divisions 60 teams is, was pretty ambitious undertaking when you started out uh, and you filled all those slots. Yes, we, we still have a few spots left. Um, we're looking, we want definitely to fill it um, because that's what's going to make it fun because we really want to add a little bit of, uh, I don't know what you would call it, where that if, um, just make it fun. In mm -hmm. other words, I'm going to harass Stan if he doesn't throw a good ball because I'm going to have to follow up and throw the next one. Yeah, now, so that means that if Stan really messes up, it's going to be your problem to clean up. To clean mess. up his mess, uh, yeah, exactly. Right. So I think we'll have fun doing that, and uh, it's just going to be a lot of fun. And, and, and I think you told me earlier that uh, this is like uh, you and your significant other. Your, right, your it doesn't spouse, matter. Or, yes, we just want it to be two people, and we're going to have six people per lane. And um, we will, that will be the team. And then we'll divide it up into three divisions, just like you do with golf, mm -hmm. where you have your different levels. I, I can see that being fun, even if you're not a very good bowler. It doesn't matter, <laughs> because that's what it's all about, right. is having a good time right. and enjoying each other's company. Yeah, even, even if you really mess up really bad, mm -hmm. you know, at least everybody will get a nice laugh exactly. out, of, out of that. Exactly. Uh, Jamie, I believe, is a pretty good bowler. But, uh, well, I used to bowl many years ago and had a good time with a ladies group. And, of course, as time goes on, you find other interests and do other things. Um, mm -hmm. But, yes, it is fun. Well, you had some experience back in the spring, though, when you did the ladies bowling. Yes, yes, we did. Us, we so. did. And we actually, um, our sponsor again is Community um, Cancer Care. Uh, we're very fortunate to have them. Um, they sponsored us for our women's tournament, and then they're also uh, enjoyed it so much that they're going to provide the sponsorship for this one along with Urgent Care. Yeah, okay. So uh, and that's coming up when? Now? It's coming up November the 6th. Okay. Um, at 5.30, we'll begin, and we're going to have hamburgers, chips, and Coke's tea for everyone. And um, then we will uh, start the bowling around 6:15. Okay. All right. And, that's, and, and you, they've already filled. We're, we're telling you about it. Uh, they've already filled up all the slots. Is that correct? No, we have a few left. Have a few left and left we left. also have sponsorships, lane sponsorships for $100 per lane. Oh, okay. You will have your name at the end of every lane, so everyone will see it um, posted there. Okay. And there's going to be a lot of people out there. With yes, there will be a lot of people. Yeah, yes, okay. there will. Uh, and uh, probably a lot of there may be a lot of spectators as well because. Oh, Oh, I this think there'll like be this some people be fun, coming, huh? yes, that will want to come and, and see how everybody's doing. <laughs> okay. All right. And that's coming up next week on the 6th of On November. the 6th. Uh -huh, that's a Thursday. Okay. Thursday evening. Yes, uh, it is. Okay. All right. Other things that are happening, I know that uh, Jamie's not going to tell me who this is, but uh, today at the, uh, which actually you'll be watching this on uh, Tuesday night, so by then they will have already decided. Yes, we will have announced. And if I can get my, there to the chamber meeting today or get someone there, we'll, we'll know by then. Yes, but we will. To today at the chamber coffee, we will be announcing our grand marshal for the Stan McNabb second annual Christmas parade. And we're right. so ex excited about getting ready. Everyone, all the children love the Christmas parade. Oh, and absolutely. hopefully this year we will have beautiful weather. Yeah. Last year, you know, we rained, but right up until time for the parade, and then it stopped. Right. And we've been kind of fortunate that over the last few years. It hasn't been really bad that I recall. No, we've had some cold evenings, mm -hmm. but um, the rain has stayed away. So hopefully this year we'll be rain-free. Yeah. And that the, the Tullahoma Christmas Parade will usually draw about 
what, 100 entries at least? At least, something, yes. Something uh -huh. like that. It's really, I think more close to 150. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. And they, what, what is the theme of this year's uh, Christmas uh, the, Parade? The theme this year is um, a story book Christmas. Mm -hmm. And so we're excited about that. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, it, 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 you know, it's really nice of the... Uh, Stan McNabb Automotive Group to be the title sponsor on this well, parade. Well, you know, we, um, I guess I'm wearing two hats here, being part of the Stan McNabb organization and the president of the chamber, but we are very fortunate to live in Tullahoma and to be able to support the community um, all over the years that we've been here. And so, yes, we're excited about being able to give back to our community. Tell me a little bit about your, this is, uh, you've been, I guess you're getting close to the end of your reign as a yes. president of the Tullahoma Chamber of Commerce. How has that been for you, Jane? It has been an absolutely wonderful experience. Um, being part of such a great organization as the Chamber, because we do support all the businesses here in town. And so, it, and we have the great leadership of Diane and her staff at the um, Chamber office. So everything has been a, a wonderful experience. I look forward to um, serving next year as the past president and the past president is in charge of a new program we've started called Emerging Leaders uh -huh. and that's a, uh, where we have the young people are put with a mentor which is a person in business that's that's established here in Tullahoma and so that has really been we started it this year and it's really been a great program and you've been a great ambassador I might add well for the for the Tullahoma Chamber. Well, I love Tullahoma. I love Tullahoma Chamber, and it's just a great place to live. Where are you from originally, Jane? Uh, I grew up in a small town in Arab, Alabama. Uh -huh. So uh, even though I may have Alabama blood in me, I'm still a Tennessee girl, too. Uh, I, I've often wondered, uh, it, it appears that your family is sort of split. Uh, last week was Tennessee-Alabama game. Some of you are Alabama fans, and some of you are Tennessee fans, and well, some of you are Vanderbilt fans. Exactly. We have a little bit of everything from Alabama, Tennessee, Vanderbilt, University of Southern Cal, Ole Miss, and Auburn is part of our makeup what right now. Mix, and it is a big mix. Yeah. <laughs> I would imagine that that makes uh, for some really interesting conversation. Well, every week there are some people happy and some people not. Right. Okay. So it, it, it's a, a good mix. So do you fall into the Alabama side of that? I am an Alabama yeah. okay. grad. Right. I am. Okay. Yes. Uh, one one quick thing. We got about a minute left. Uh -huh. I, I know the chamber's doing the, the uh, chamber throw things. Oh yes, uh, we again. are, and uh, we're so excited. Um, we have taken several of the main businesses in town. The the we have South Jackson on there, we have the 41A, we have the Tennessee Tanning, the airport, all the things that are really landmarks in Tullahoma are on the throw. We did an extra large throw mm -hmm. and we are taking order pre-orders right now for them. They will be here for, before Christmas and they are, they're $65 a piece and you can call the chamber office and place your order. Okay, and they, and they are really nice. So, uh, usually I get one to show you and I've I've been remiss in not doing that this year, yes. but they yes. are really nice. So give the, the chamber will. a call if you'd like to do that or would like to be a part of the uh, chamber Christmas parade. Yes, we would love to have you to enter a float and um, be a part of our, our parade. Yes. Okay. Jamie, thank you so much thank for coming you. by. Thank you. And today. remember, November, nice the sixth November the 6th is our bowling tournament. And if, you do, if you're not a part of that, if you're not on the team, I believe that would be major fun for you just to go to by and, come out and, and see everyone and watch yes, that. It would. All right, folks, we'll be right back with more living right after this. Smoking tobacco accounts for three of every ten fire deaths in the United States. to a structure fire, 202 Main Street, heavy smoke showing, neighbors advise child trapped inside. Lighters, matches, and associated smoking paraphernalia are the leading cause of preschooler fire deaths. We as firefighters know that most structure fires can be prevented. I've got one, I've got one. Command, this is primary search. We have a victim. Need EMS to meet us at the front door. Please help us to give you a fighting chance. This can be prevented. Contact the Tullahoma Fire Department for a free home safety inspection. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip. And then, boom. 
adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. Get your news first, fast, and free with your news leader on 6 every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. Local weather, sports, community calendar events, and a comprehensive look at the latest news stories and newsmakers as only a video news broadcast can do. Get it first, fast, and free with news leader on Channel 6, your local information network. you want some viewers in TV land and thank you camera gentlemen for putting a good sharp clear contrasted colorful picture on the screen you know there's so many many things going on in the Tullahoma area uh, the, all the South Jackson Secret Center's plays and musicals and uh, dramatic arts it's just just wonderful and Thank goodness that South Jackson School was saved a number of years ago by putting a new roof on it, and uh, that building has, has such historical interest back through the years. It's just wonderful. And the uh, Playhouse <coughs> originated at Northern Field and as a theater out there uh, many years ago, and the the. Uh, Playhouse moved into South Jackson, and shortly after that, sad to say, the theater out of Camp Forest burned one day, and it was a, a big loss. But thank goodness there was a South Jackson Civic Center to be able to stage the productions that were there. <coughs> now, uh, some of the festivities and uh, programs in Tullahoma, they mentioned the the band and the marching, and what a great band it is. And I'd like to share with you that the first official uh, high school marching band that was established in 1939 uh, went to the Middle Tennessee Band Directors Association uh, scheduled at, for competition at the Middle Tennessee State University, and our band was so small that they had different classes of bands. Uh, those that were 100 or over, or 75 to 100, or 50 to 75, and our band was in, in uh, Section D because we were a small band. We had a uh, whopping 28 members of our band, and the uh, drum major was uh, in the major S, well, there were three or four of them, that's all. And uh, they have uh, as many in the flag corps as the president band as we did in the whole band. But it was great, and we enjoyed it. And uh, our competition, as I recall, <clears throat> was all about 2 o'clock in the afternoon for our concert band and our marching uh, competition didn't take place almost midnight uh, there on Saturday uh, and all the other bands, big bands had already performed but uh, we got first place in, in our marching division and uh, even though it was pouring down rain we went right on with our marching competition and we had a great time now one of the highlights of uh, our first band was that we were asked to participate in the first Tennessee National Walking Horse Celebration Parade in 1939. I believe there were four, maybe five bands in that parade. 
but we really enjoyed it and got to be in that first one. And the, the uh, horse show on c Celebration Grounds was, was the, on the football field behind the uh, high school, I think on Elm Street there in, uh, in uh, Chevrolet. And we had a great time performing there. And other performances and parades were uh, like the Mule Day in Columbia, the first Saturday in April every year. We got to march in that. They had a lot of bands over there. And the flagship band was the Columbia uh, High School Marching Band. They had over 100 pieces, in, even, even in 1939 and 1940. But uh, it was a great band, and we enjoyed those performances real, real much. And uh, the other celebration we went to was the Crimson Clover Festival in uh, Winchester. Uh, that was held several years, and later when the Red and Crimson Clover, Clover became too expensive to plant, then that festival came to an end. But that was always a good uh, uh, place to go. It wasn't far, and they had activities for, for the band and pleasant times there. And then uh, the Dairy Festival in Pulaski was always a, a good place to go. We enjoyed going over to, there at uh, Pulaski, uh, marching in, in that band. And it was a, a good time was, was had by all there, too. And the... Uh, the bands have always played a real important part in uh, recreation and football games, and the halftime shows at the football games are just wonderful. We appreciate uh, the efforts that are, that are made there, and uh, it was always fun. Other festivals, uh, like the, the Coffee County Fair every year, and it was the oldest free fair in the country for a long, long time. I, th I don't think it's free now, but it was for years and years. And of course, county fairs and uh, the state fair was uh, part of the agricultural and animal co community for many, many years. And that was really important because they always brought out the, the see who could bring the biggest pumpkin or the best potatoes or or the best apples or fruit or whatever, and they judge those, and they were always real, real interesting and good. And in connection with uh, those fairs, they always had the fairs of the fair, the young ladies that perform uh, for contests, and uh, the cutest baby in the fair, too. That was always real interesting. And uh, they had shows and music and performances, uh, at the fire grounds, it was always real wonderful. And uh, then I remember back in 1936, I believe it was 1934, 1936, they had a big uh, telephone fire right downtown on Atlanta, uh, Atlantic Street and uh, uh, Davidson Park. And uh, that was a, a pleasant experience. And Mr. Rucker Granberry had his steam powered merry go round. At the, at the corner of Grundy and uh, Atlantic Street. Always something going on uh, in Tullahoma. And the, uh, with the advent and the headquarters of the Stack Wing Museum out in Northern Field, uh, that has brought a lot of wonderful people into Tullahoma. And the, the uh, uh, State Fair, I think it's been going on just recently, has brought a lot of people into Tullahoma. I thank you for watching, and I want to tell you that this is not the end of the story because there's a whole lot more to come, and we hope you'll be watching. Thank you, and have a real, real good day. This is the paint. Uh oh.
I just knock the tree over. It's the paint doctor. I got the color wheel. Now you know what a color wheel is? It is the wheel that the paint works where you pick all your colors to paint your room. It could be a multicolored beard. It could be a underarm fan. You never can tell. One thing we do know is that it's time to paint. You know, you can make your wife very happy if you go to your house and paint some rooms or you paint you paint the outside of the house, the inside of the house. It makes them very, feel very good because you work hard for them and they like that. All women like to see their man sweat. You know, they do, they do. Honeydew is what they do. And you get to do it too. So you go to the paint works at 1960 North Washington Street and you see David, David Eichenen over there and he's the real paint doctor. He fix you up with color. It's so nice when the color is right. Go to Paintworks today, Martin Senor. See, Martin Senor, right there. Martin Senor at, at the Paintworks. Bye, and we see you next time. Oh, I'm burning up. Hi, this is Peter, and I work for the American Red Cross. During events like this, people are always asking how they can help. For just an hour of your time, and a little stick in the arm, you too can help save a life. There's always a constant need for blood. Make an appointment with the American Red Cross and donate some blood. Call 1-800-RED-CROSS or go online to redcrossblood.org. Thank you. All right. I told you we were going to have a show full. It. Yeah, we did have a show, show full. full. It's nice when we do. It goes yeah. by. I heard it. Are y'all ready by for Halloween? Good. We need to mention Halloween we and do. being safe. And, and Friday night, and Friday night is also the coffee pot game. Coffee yeah. pot game. Show home in Manchester. Then at 11 o'clock, that would be the Rocky Horror um, Picture Show. Yep, on the Fine Steps at South Tour. Jackson. Steps at South Jackson. And I believe November 1st opens. 9 to 5. 9 to 5, yeah. yeah. By the community playhouse. So I Great mean, cast just, they have. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's just stuff happening everywhere. Young people. everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. And uh, this Saturday night, the Sportsman and Businessman's uh, event. Oh yeah. So uh, and that's a big thing. That's mm -hmm. a big thing. That's huge. So is that the convention center? Probably? Yeah, it's yes. just yeah. convention center. Just stuff happening all around, and you get out there and be a part of it. Just be safe. Oh, yeah. and the driving, the motorcycle, that thing that's going on. The, Toy the convoy. Toy convoy. Yeah, the toy Katie, convoy. Katie's toy convoy. I think that's convoy. a neat thing to do. All right, really so what we're going to do right now is we're going to close with a little bit more uh, Rooster and the Red Maiden at South Jackson Civic Center. Goodbye, folks.
About what? Well, I haven't been in on a date in a while. A couple. For a while. And, uh, <laughs> need help. I don't know. Who could, yeah, I, need, I do need somebody to help me. Could you, could you help me? Give me just a minute. You tell anybody about this, I don't feel it. I like how you 